guys are nervous. Let's see how they deal with nerves. Not either of them have not really done Mario 3 tournaments, so this will be interesting. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right, here they go. Okay, let's see here. Okay, let's get this up. A little bit of a him. Let's see this audio. Ah, much better. We're gonna do Uni's audio. So, so we have to start off with we have WRD one one six, and then we have U Uni Nerdo. I think is this, is uh, how it's pronounced. Um, and we got WRD having a little bit of a slip up here in the first level. That's okay, man. I do that every time I'm in a tournament. I always make some kind of weird mistake in World One, and then I haul ass after. The worst has already happened, WRD. The worst has already happened, right? So, from here on out, you can kind of go calm. We got, we got Uni taking the leaf there. Um, because I, I don't think he wants to do the fortress strat, which is a, a very scary strategy. Giving WRD a chance to actually catch up right there. This is interesting. Alright, getting the audio up. We have Star Mushroom, Mushroom Star. For those of you who don't know, what we're looking for is the frame perfect jump from the Hammer Brother and the staying in the duck formation on the ship is gonna be big. WRD's not gonna be able to clutch out a chance to save back that time from Uni uh, the way he did 1 2. Alright, we have we have 1 5 on both sides. Oh! Uni not being able to get the single frame jump, or sorry, WRT not being able to get the single frame jump in the Hammer Brother. Unless we can get, unless we can get a replay clip of that, that did not look like he got a single frame jump. It's hard to tell with the leaf sometimes, but I, I don't think, I don't think he got it. We're gonna have to go to the judges for that one later, but I don't think... Nope, he didn't mark it off on his tracker, not on my tracker. I don't think so, unfortunately. But that's okay. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. It's Uni's turn to see if he can get that frame perfect jump. Even the pros like me don't always get frame perfect tricks, so it's a very balanced thing. I mean, you can practice it, you not practice it, see how it goes. WRD getting the P speed exactly what he needed, and Uni Nerdo also not getting the frame perfect jump there. Alright, that's two runners trying to get some points. Not going to the Mushroom Mouse on Uni's side, and neither is WRD. Neither runner are going to the Mushroom House. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, let's watch my puppets dance. Yes, yes, see what I can make them do. The duck jump, and the ducks on the airship. Both starting. I want to see no peekers, man. These are big points. These are big points. WRD is in an unfortunate spot here without having a Fire Flower, because if he takes damage, he goes right to Small Mario. And Uni stands up. This could be big for WRD. He has no idea. His opponent has stood up, so let's see what he decides to do here. Is he gonna go for the Fire Flower? Definitely not, man. That's a risk. The points are way more important than that Fire Flower. So this could actually be huge for WRD. He's very close to the end as long as he doesn't stand up here. Gonna take it slow. Losing a little bit of time here. There it is! WRD securing the two points right there and that is gonna be huge for him. Took him quite a bit of time to get in that pipe so he is gonna take a time loss there. Wonder how this is gonna, wonder how this is gonna turn out in the long run. Gets those two points, but is it worth it if he's going to get punished later for not getting under 60 minutes? Very interesting, very interesting. And just as I said, trying to, gotta take it easy on my voice today, and I just can't, guys. These races are just way too interesting. I don't care how good or bad any of the players are whatsoever. It's just always interesting to watch two people go head to head. Alright, World 1 is not the best example to see how these guys hold up with their P-Speed strategies and as soon as I say that, Uni takes the damage and has a big slowdown in 2-1. That's okay, he rebuilds his P-Speed back and it's WRD's turn to see how he does. WRD again, slip-slopping the P-Speed strategies in 2-1. 
You need Nerno getting the mushroom flower. He's got them backwards a little bit. You want to start with that flower. However, it is early world two, so it's actually not going to be that big of a problem. Both runners doing a fantastic job keeping up with each other. Remember, it's all about the points. Ooh, he's getting the slow. Yeah, you can't jump off of that platform. You get really slow momentum. I don't know why the game does that to you, but it's just a weird situation. Uni Nerdo getting out of 2-2 past the, the moat. Landing in the tiers, though. Does WRD land in the moat of tiers? He does not land in the moat of tiers. And both players have finished all their cards. And now they have an opportunity to get the cards that they need. Alright, starting in the fortress. Is he going to do the... Okay, he's not going to do the stomp strat. That one's kind of like... Um, I don't know. I've, I've seen some runners stomp the first... The first dry bones and some runners not. I wonder what WR... Oh, he's going to damage boost to get the early P-Speed. Now you guys get a great opportunity to see the power of that early P-Speed. Meanwhile, Uni Nerdo is going to grab the Mushroom here, which I think is a really good idea. He needs some backup, man. If he dies, that could be heavy for him because WRD's got that two-point advantage right now. This could be pretty big. This could be pretty big. All right. Looking clean on both sides. Looking clean. Look at how close they are. They're both in the Boom Boom Room. This could be a really close race. It seems like both of these runners are very close in skill, and I love to see that. I love to see it. Getting a movement of two still on Uni's side. He's get all movements of two. WRD also getting a movement of two. If they get movements of four or movements of three or any of that crap, that's still movements of two, so it still would count. Nice. Very nice strategy for Uni Nerdo. I've used to, I've done those strategies myself. Same with what WR just did. I've seen all of those strategies. Very, very nice to see these runners doing strategies that are not, not exactly what everyone else does, but what works for them. And Uni Nerdo getting the Fire Flower as his first card, that's huge, because WRD did not get it. Also, Uni getting a movement of two, which again is pretty big for him. WRD getting a movement of two as well. Let's see if these guys go for the Sun Point. That's next, man. They need to get one of the Suns, and they need to get all movements of two in World 2. WRD getting the early one, and Uni is not going to go for it. Alright, so there's going to be some uh, points changes here. And look at that, WRD getting an easy sun kill. He does the uh, run inside of him, the collision. It looks like Uni's trying to figure out which direction he wants to go based on how the Hammer Brothers work in World 2. It's That's one of the things I love about Mario 3. You never know exactly which way you're going to be going all the time. Nice, Uni. Does he get the mushroom here? He does get the mushroom. Wow, that is huge for Uni Nerdo. Look at that, getting the Flower Star Mushroom out of the way early in the game. You know what that means. He does not have to worry about it at all. He gets a movement of one, though, so he is out of the movement of two game. He will not be getting that point. Uni Nerd, or uh, WRD still getting movements of two here. This, If that Hammer Brother moves left after this level, WRD is going to be getting that point, and that is going to be big for him because he is starting to clear out his board here. Getting the, getting the music box. Not sure if that's exactly what he wanted, but that is what he's going to get. He's going to go for the Mushroom House. Does he get the Fire Flower? Tie it up, man. This would be huge. No, he does not get the Fire Flower. Very unfortunate. Those Mushroom Houses, guys. The Mushroom Houses in this tournament so far have been so absolutely cruel. And it looks like WRD is going to get all movements of two. Absolutely mad lad right there. Absolutely crazy, man. That is... Uh, I am so surprised at how many we've seen in this run. He's gonna go... Oh, no! I gotta take it away! Because if that Hammer Brother with the... Mu Ooh, that was... I wouldn't have done that for the music box. That was definitely a mistake. He had the point. Let's see if he gets another movement of two. He does not get a movement of two. Wow! And he didn't go for the Mushroom House. What was his game there? What was that play? All right, Uni Nerdo exiting World 2 as well. What was that play? He had it, guys. He had that RNG point. He's making sure items don't touch in World 3, but as we know, a really good strategy if you get all movements of two. 
is you get the star first in world three that is very important star first in world three then hammer will allow you to be able to not have the hammers touching in your inventory but these guys got to go with what they're comfortable with right so who am i to judge it is what it is Ooh, and they have the matching coin count yes i always love seeing that that is really really cool hey and you watched ibuba yesterday you watched stewie I am just proud of how well everyone's doing and I think everyone going for what's comfortable and you know you can never you can never tell a person what they're thinking in these you know in these high-stake runs because sometimes it's just they go with they go with their gut they go with how they feel and you know what there's nothing wrong with even making mistakes not that there was a mistake but it happens right so it's, it's just the way it is Looking good though, both both opponents very like equal in skill here. This is uh this is really interesting. Very interesting to see how these guys are, are setting this up. Unfortunately, Uni Nerdo does not have the preemptive sun point from World 2, so he is um he's gonna have to make him some points. However, he did get the flower star mushroom, which is pretty big. That's a lot less he's gotta worry about later in the run. Alright. And here we go. And here we go. 3-1. Not the most exciting level, but it looks like Uni Nerdo is on on track for coin ship, guys. We didn't even notice odds change your tens digit on the timer and evens don't. So he needs to get an odd number in his timer when he beats this level. Is he paying attention or is he gonna get punished? WRD getting two stars. This could be dangerous. Meanwhile, odds change, evens don't. And he gets odds. He is paying attention. Wow, I am extremely impressed. It's so easy to stop paying attention. Wow, that is going to be really big for Uni. I am incredibly impressed with that move right there. Meanwhile, WRD, this is one of the stressful levels in World 3 because you can go right through the cheap cheeps, man. WRD's gonna have to work on his turn back right here and hopefully it works out well, and it does work out well. He does not get the fanfare. Both of these runners are skating on thin ice with some of these things that are happening to them. This is absolutely insane. Whew. All right, coming up on 3-3. Three, three. In World 3, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking for door three, no water patterns, and this is where the start the start of the special tiles works. Ooh, WRD taking damage, but I think that's fine. Not a huge deal, man. Not a huge deal. These are not world record attempts. Losing Fire Flower is not the end of the world. Uni's gonna go for a very safe P-Speed strategy here, or just a comfortable uh, movement. Looking good for him. Watch out in the water. He's good. WD getting the mushroom. He wants to get that Fire Flower. Getting a random marathon, a very small marathon. And let's see if WRD can secure this door three. We'd love to see it. We'd love to see it. And WRD does not get door three. This is a chance for Uni to tie up the points. This is an opportunity for Uni to tie up the points right here. He does not get the door three, but that's okay, man. It's a single frame trick. It can be pretty hard to time. What makes door three so hard to time? Your, your, your timing is done during a black screen transition. If the screen hadn't transitioned and there was some way to visually keep track, I think it would be a much easier trick. But because it's transitioning from a black screen, it's very, very hard to time. Alright, he gets another marathon. Is he gonna get a Task World 3? It looks... Oh my gosh. He's avoiding at least one water battle right here, though. They're both avoiding a water battle right here. This could be pretty good for them. Getting the hammer first on WRD side. Now I get it, right? Now I get it. And it looks like Uni is going to be able to get the special tile. Does, did he study his tiles? It looks like he didn't. Did he? He did study his tiles. And look at that. Uni is going to get the special tile and the no water battle. Meanwhile, WRD got a water battle and he has not got a special tile yet. Wow, this is pretty big, man. And just like that, Uni takes the lead with some, some weird Hammer Brothers happening to WRD. Um, you could chalk this up as RNG, but honestly, WRD's Hammer Brothers, I have done so many warpless runs and I barely ever see them do that pattern. 
They did like double marathons. You never see that stuff. You never see that stuff happen, so. And neither of them getting runaway bro, so that is so good. You'd love to see that. And looks like uh, Uni's items are really good in his inventory, and same with WRT. Looking good. Look at that, making great work in that level. WRD also getting rid of the boss bass. Very scary, um, very scary enemy we've seen in this tournament already. Somebody died three times. Three times to the boss bass in 3-3, three, three, so... We're the opponent, if you ask me. We're the opponent. Oh! Missing the H jump. This is the chance for WRD. If WRD gets the H jump, he can make a really good time comeback. And he does get it. And look at how fast he caught up. Although he did a little slip up there with the turn back. Lost his momentum. Wasn't going to make the full jump. But look at this right here, guys. Holy crap. These guys have been neck and neck this whole time. Can WRD secure the flower, though? He needs it. He gets the flower. This is big, man. He can tie it up now. He can tie it up. Ooh, man, this is good. He can now tie this up. Ooh. I was going to say, what happened to the audio there? But we're back. We're back. Beautiful H jump right there from our runners. How are you guys doing, chat? Are you guys enjoying this race so far? I love how close they are in terms of skill. How come one how come one screen is more HD? Yeah, um, so you have to remember I'm capturing their stream. So if somebody person doesn't have the same quality as another person, there's nothing that I can do about that, right? Nothing I can do about that. Which, for the most part, we don't have a huge problem with the quadio uh the quadio. The quadio, that's quality and audio at the same time. The quadio, guys! It's actually a silly word. Everyone, right now, say Quadio out loud. That is a weird word. All right, looks like Uni is going to be at Wendy first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got it. Ooh, WRD. He's got a couple shots left, and he does nail it. He is catching up. He is catching up, guys. All right. Looks like they're coming down. World 4 has some very important things going on in it, so this could be this could be very exciting, man. This could be very exciting. World 4 and, and what's awesome about World 4 right now is WRD is set up to claim his point with Flower Star Mushroom. So I, I really want to see him tie it up right here. Close race in points, man. He's going to go for the Shell Grab Strat, which is a very good idea. Get that P-Speed and look at this. Look at what the P-Speed difference is going to make here. Oh, a couple turnbacks though. Oh, if he secured the P-Speed, he would have maybe caught up here. But let's see if he gets a star here. It's very important he gets a star. He does get a star. Wow, he's just got a mushroom left. You know, Uni, he doesn't get a bad Hammer Brother movement. Remember, World 4, I don't think, has, like, super bad Hammer Brother movements. All right, Uni's doing the Peace Beat Strat in 4-2. Looking hot, looking hot. WRD is going to be able to catch up here. Meanwhile, Uni taking damage. Yes, and that is it. WRD has caught up a massive amount of time. Look at them. They are right there. Can WRD get the mushroom? He does get the mushroom. That is going to be incredible. Boom. Tied it up in points right there. Now they're off in World 4 right here. It's time for the big, big play right here. 4-3. Do they get punished or do they not? Uni going for that Fire Flower. Does he get it? He does not get the Fire Flower. Meanwhile, WRD is going to take the lead because of that. He's not checking Mushroom Houses. 
But that would have been big for Uni if he got that point. And let's see if our players get punished for not doing a semi somewhat perfect 4-3. And it looks like WRD is not going to get punished. And Uni is going to get punished. And missing that P speed is just too much. The timer has already passed 288. Looks like Uni's gonna get punished, man, as soon as, as soon as W- Oh, and he's gonna get punished even more. He's gonna get punished even more. He took the death, however, he's not punished in 4-3. He has another chance. He has another chance to finish it. He didn't finish with a 288 or less because he died. So let's see how this goes. Let's see how he does this. He's not actually punished just yet. 4-3 can be a very easy level, but then as soon as somebody tells you, oh, don't make a mistake, it starts getting very scary, and he takes another death right there. That is going to be big for WRD. That is actually going to be huge. WRD making it his way through 4-3. Or sorry, 4-4, which is, oh man, such a stressful level. Is WRD going to go for Mushroom Houses or not? This is interesting. Does he pick and choose which ones he wants to go for? It looks like not. Is he going to use his music box? He is going to use his music box. He needs to use that. Oh! And it looks like Uni is not going to get punished for 4-3 because he is going to finish it with 288 or more. Wow. Very good job. If only... If only those deaths, man. Those mistakes. That's okay. WRD is not in the clear yet. I mean, he could do some mistakes. So, so much can happen. At least Uni is not doing 4-4 Small Mario. This level is so stressful as Small Mario. Here he goes. Alright, guys. We've seen it before. World 4. When you beat World 4... Wait, hold on. WRD does not get it. He got frame ruled. He cannot go back for it. He's already attempted. Not gonna go back for it. He does not want to test... Uni swimming blind, however, two spinies were already thrown, so he knows he's in the clear. Alright, WRD, he's gonna go back for the, for the uh, P-Wing, but we know when you beat World 4, you get a P-Wing, so he's gotta go to a Mushroom House or get that star. It's very important for him. He might not even have a choice. Uni, this is the cloud, but he needs to make sure... Oh, that's good, that's good for Uni. That's really good. And WRD knows he needs to get the star. And just like that, I think they're both going to get... Wait, hold on. Uni? Oh, no! Uni got the P-Wing. That is very unfortunate. And WRD is on his way out of here. Whew. This has been a wild ride, man. Uni had a chance to get the uh, Cloud P-Wing set up in World 4. But unfortunately, unfortunately... The cloud somehow made its way all the way to the other side of the world. And that never happens, man. Not the best. Doing a small jump there, not getting up. But he is going to be able to have enough time with the star to get across. And he is good. Alright. He has a chance to get early P-Speed, though. He has a chance to get early P-Speed. And WRD did not get early P-Speed. So this can, be, this can be pretty good for Uni be pretty good for uni this can be pretty good for uni 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 okay is he gonna get the flower it's big oh he's not the flower the tanuki suit all right let's see if he gets early p speed he's got a couple attempts at it not gonna go for it. It is a very hard strategy. Maybe he sacrificed early P speed or getting the fire flower. Who knows? It's these guys' runs, not ours. So he's gonna make his way through the fortress and he is out of there. He's just gotta get a couple shots here. All right, and he's good. No soft locks, no resets, no glitches, no stuns. He is out of there. He is about one minute and something, uh, almost two minutes behind. Less than two minutes for sure. We've seen this before, haven't we, guys? We've seen this before. Not the end. So I'd have to say it's, um... I'd have to say it's pretty interesting. Right? Uni dying on 4-3. Not finishing it. And he died on a 4-3 where he was gonna get punished and lose a point anyways, right? He didn't intentionally die. 
but allowed him to come back and try 4-3 again. And doing that made it so he didn't get punished in 4-3. So that's a, that's a really interesting thing that, that happened there. Very interesting. All right, we're going to go over to WRD's audio. He does have that audio hum. Normally that hum means there's two pieces uh, touching on the audio cords. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed that, but I'm sorry, we can't, we can't. I tried it. I tried it, we can't guys, we can't. All right, what are we looking for? We need uh, the matching roulette with the mushrooms on WRD's side. We need 280 in the Twisty Castle. And we need no bumps in World 5. Yeah, sometimes uh, in some of my old setups, when I get a hum like that, there's something about the audio. Uh, even Sometimes it's the video for some... Who knows, man? It could be anything. All right, no bumps in the overworld. All right, here we go. Looking good. Both runners are doing a very good job here. This race is not over, and the points are still very close. <gasps> Good thing this isn't season one because he would have lost that. That is huge for Uni because that is a big time loss for WRD right there. The Shaft of Shame, ladies and gentlemen. The Shaft of Shame. He is now going to have to go through an area which I can almost guarantee none of these runners have practiced. Not that they should. There's no reason to practice this. Why, like, right? This is not ever a part of any run in Mario 3. But I do like the, that we get the chance to see the uncovered. You know, the hidden gems, the lost levels, the lost levels. All right, Uni's now joining WRD in World 5. And let's see what kind of plays WRD's gonna make in World 5. Is he gonna go for roulette? Is he gonna go for mushroom houses? We'll see how items are touching in both players' inventories and see what's gonna happen with that. Taking it slow on WRD's side, I really like that. And here goes, Uni, starting World 5. No overworld bumps, that's good. Take it slow, right? It's worth the point. It's worth wasting like three seconds overall in the overworld map of World 5 to make sure that you don't get any bumps. Nice, good work. Alright, so WRD is going to go for the roulette game. Does he get it? Mushroom. Oh, Mushroom Star Leaf, man, you got one of each. Music Box. Okay, yeah, you got the World 4 P-Wing. Oh, not getting in the pipe, man. Up pipes are dangerous. WRD going for, ooh, a very difficult 280 Pyramid, or sorry, Twisty Castle. Don't think he's going to be able to clutch it. Losing that P-Speed's pretty big. I mean, he's already at a 291, and he's not going to be able to keep P-Speed in this section, so... I don't think he's going to be able to clutch it. He does have 9. He is on his way to a coin ship, though. This could be sad. No, this might... Oh, he might be, uh... Because he wants the P-Wing in World 5. I see, I see, I see. Another runners do this. Yep, yep. Right? If his next item's a P-Wing, he would have been screwed. There you go, WRD not getting coin ship there, but he is in the top section of World 5. Got a big lead on Uni. And Uni's gonna go for the P-Wing. Oh, right, very nice. So I guess they switched at the start. Nice, and I always love seeing 5-4 not take any souls. Thank goodness, man. The Soul Keeper 5-4 has been very, very mean to a lot of runners today. Or sorry, during this tournament. Very, very mean. No bumps on the overworld on WRD side. That's good. That's good. Now just keep in mind, guys, it is very possible to get under 60 minutes without any P speed strategies in this game. That's a very interesting piece of knowledge considering sub 60 is qualifications for this tournament. All right, Uni's gonna go for the roulette. This He needs this. Oh my god, he gets it at ease. That was so easy for him, man. He didn't even have to try. No overworld bumps either, and he's going ahead and get the star. 
Oh, wrong side. Gonna be a little bit of a time loss. He needs to do time saves if he wants to catch up to WRD, right? Time saves. Trying to figure out which is the right item to pick. WRD's gotta go back and get this music box. He's already used the music box. He needs this for the World 7 Piranha Plant. Needs it. Taking damage. He's not gonna be able to secure. He's not gonna be able to secure that 280. As long as he gets out safe, though, he's safe in the top section. As long as he doesn't die. If he dies, that'll be a mad time loss in WRD. Almost dying right there. Does take damage, but he is safe. He should be out of there at clean ease. And look at these points, guys. Eight to six. No bumps on the overworld map. Thank you. All right, and here we go. They're both out of there. No bumps on either side. No bumps on the overworld map on either side. This could be good. Uni, probably thinking the same thing. He's got to do peace speed strategies here. And he does. That is going to be a big time save for Uni as WRD took that level very slow. These are the things he's going to need. WRD again. Losing a lot of peace speed strategies in this run. He's going to have to do... Ooh, moving a four. You hate to see that. No bump on the overworld map on Uni's side. Nice. Weaving and bobbing through all those enemies, man. That's been the, the strat. Nice. He's gonna go. Alright. No bumps on the overworld map on WRD's side. It looks like he's gonna get that point right there. And look at them go. Uni is a little bit a ways behind, man. He is going to have to do a lot to catch up here. Both runners have a little less than half an hour to finish three worlds. A little less than half an hour to finish three worlds. Can they get the under 60 minute mark? Another movement of four. That is not going to help with time at all, man. That is such an annoying event. If there's anyone here who's ever watched my streams when I'm going for world record attempts or speedrunning, my goodness, there's nothing more frustrating than the top hammer brother in world five, man. I feel the pain. I feel the pain. All right, here we go. He's going to make work on the boom boom. Smashing it out of the park. Uni is gonna need WRD to, to have a, a day picnic in 7-1 or something, right? The music box for the music... Oh, he does have two music boxes, that's right. And look at that, Uni is doing peace beat strategies. He's slowly catching up, guys. He is slowly catching up. Uni did not get any overworld bumps. That's good. Oh, and WRD starts world six with a top pattern. Very unfortunate. So he's not going to be, that's instantly not going to be able to get that point. But let's see how WRD deals with world six fort one, man. Because this can be a pretty big fortress here. It's going to be a big time swing. It's a very difficult point to get. Let's see if he gets it. Right, taking that P speed loss could be. Yes, that is going to be big. He is not going to be able to secure that 279. Gotta keep your P speed for a little bit longer here. Although he has 282, keeps P speed in this room. 279, he gets it. Wow. Wow, absolutely incredible. That is one of the hardest points in the tournament. And P 
people are just nailing it out of the park after a few days gone by people have learned what they need to do to get it and that is just extremely impressive man i am impressed with both of these runners man they are killing it All right, here we go. This is exciting. Uni is making his way to World 6. The points are very close right now. The points are very close. WRD going back for the Mushroom House. Is he going to get the Fire Flower? Right here. There it is, right there. Does he get it? He does get it. This is exactly what Uni didn't need right there. Holy crap. How is this going to work out? WRD still needs to get the special tile point. Not in the clear for that. And I also think neither of them have had an item touching in their inventory. Let's find out. Oh! That uses the star instead of the other P-Wing. Okay, okay. Uni, is he going to get the 279, man? This is crazy the way these guys have been treating this level. This level's supposed to be a hard one. Let's see how he does this situation. Does the bump, but he keeps the P-Speed as he Oh! This- I don't know how this is gonna turn out for them. That wall rub could be huge. Gets the P-Speed here. Keeps the two- Oh, he's at 281. He's not going to be able to get the 279. Oh, so close, but almost dies. 278. Dang. And WRD is gonna go for the hammer suit. Man, that was way too close. That was way too close. Getting a mini marathon here. Yo, Uni going up here, he could get this too. That'll be really good for him. Does not get the Fire Flower. Has not been working out, man. Just unbelievable with these Mushroom Houses. These Mushroom Houses have been ruthless. Absolutely ruthless. In this season. Uni in a very scary situation. He does make it though. Oh man. I thought he was going to clip in the side of that P, P switch, but he didn't. And he gets out of 6-4, which also can be a very stressful level. I have not seen Uni Nerdo get Flower Star Mushroom. If there's anyone, any judges in chat. Ooh, Uni gets the special tile, but he already has it. But he can get a mushroom here, so this could be good for him. A little protection there. He doesn't need it, though, because he's going to use a P-Wing here. Ooh, and he gets the bad Hammer Brother. He's going to lose even more time. Up against WRD. Gotta make sure he uses the right P-Wing, but he looks like the first P-Wing in his inventory is the okay P-Wing. I guess it doesn't matter which one he uses. As long as he uses one. WRD not getting a fanfare. That's very scary for him. Let's see how these guys do with this. He's not gonna go for the tail swipe. It is very difficult. Look at that. See, that's not that much of a time loss compared to the despawn, right? It's not... Not absolutely crucial to get it. Oh, WRD going for the wall jump. This could help Uni out a lot. Considering WRD get, did get a chance at first try and third try, but he's not getting the jump. Fourth try? Nope. Mm. Oh, he gets a fifth try. Congratulations on getting that wall jump. And Uni is going to get the hammer suit. Nice, using that hammer. Looks like items in their inventory are very, very clean here. This is good. This is good. Using that star for safety. I don't blame him, man. I don't blame him. Uni is gonna need WRD to take a death or a mistake here. This is uh, gonna be big, but is he gonna go for the clip here? Oh, I thought he got it. I say that every time, though. I say that every time. I say that every time. I literally say that every time. All right. Uh, Uni has actually caught up quite a bit. Remember how far behind he was in the auto scroller and how close he is here? It's only a couple levels behind. He's also going to use a P Wing. Oh, he's going to get the one up, man. He knows about the one up. This could be big. Doesn't take damage there. I was worried. I was worried for a sec. I was worried for a sec there. Uh, 
All right, he's gonna have to use the P-Wing here. Probably gonna use the first one in the set. Yes, he is. Making his way. All right, WRD, are you going to get the clip here? Are you gonna get two points in World 6? World 6 has gotten pretty hard points. So let's see how this works out. He's got two attempts. Does not get first try. Goes for second try. Does not get second try. Alright, he's going to take the elevator. Meanwhile, WRD is going to be on the airship. Uh, just a quick question for all of you watching at home. Um, I don't think so, but uh, I don't think Uni Nerdo got all low patterns in World 6. They get some of the judges to confirm that, but I don't think so. So I just want to make sure. Just want to make sure. Both runners have a little under 20 minutes to finish their runs. Uni Nerdo did get all low patterns. Just want to make sure, just want to make sure, double check, I was going to mark it, but thank you very much, judges. You guys have been fantastic this season. Dude, this season has been all about the players who have not only impressed me, but everyone has done such an amazing job, but also the judges, the Twitch chat. You guys have made this tournament amazing, so thank you guys so much. Quite a bit to keep track of here, but I think we're doing pretty good. All right, it's Uni's time to get the fire clip. This will be huge, man. Be huge. Also, 7-1, he's got five tries. Let's see how he does. One. Two. He gets his second try. Holy crap. Uni Uni's got one more chance at this. He does not get it. Dang, every time Uni gets a point, WRD comes in and slices a point away from him. Insane, man. Insane. Alright, he's gonna use a P-Wing for this level. He is a little short on P-Wings, so I wonder what's going to happen here. I think he's short on P-Wings. Ooh, that one up there, that could have really helped him there for his lives. Uni Nerdo might win here with the wild card. Also, WRD, does he get a fanfare, man? A fanfare could be huge for Uni if he gets it. We're, gonna, we're getting some buffering. Does he get the fanfare, though? I don't know. Because obviously it has to buffer at the worst time. Come on, man. This is so stupid. I have to refresh. How many lives does he have? He got the fanfare! He has 20 lives! He got the fanfare. Wow, and he's gonna get punished for the lives. He had 15 lives. I refreshed, he's got 20 lives. Holy crap. That is huge for Uni. Uni has five tries here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, he's not gonna get it in five tries. Not doing a big enough turn back. He's making it hard for himself to build up the right amount of speed to get the clip here. Oh, and accidentally enters 7-1 as soon as WRD lets up a little bit. As soon as WRD lets up a little bit, Uni ends up having something terrible happen. Unfortunately, the wrong warp would probably get you kicked out of the tournament and would give your opponent an official win. Using a warp in a warpless run is a big boo-boo. Not something you'd want to do. Although I will say Uni knows how to work his way around 7-1 and not doing too bad. I want to see a run and duck jump here. Up into the little... Oh no, he's just going to start here. And, and WRD getting the clip. Getting the clip in 7-6 without a P-Wing. Just absolute mad lad here. Uni not losing that much time if 7-1 took him. If 7-1 took Uni, you know, 10 minutes, then he definitely just saved 8 minutes there. Not too bad. Alright, we got WRD on Island 3 right now. Oh my gosh. He's going for one try. He goes for one try. 
So let me just clarify something while I have the chance, you guys. You don't have to finish your run to be awarded the point for the no items touching. But, but, you do, however, have to get yourself to the point where it's not possible for items in your inventory to touch anymore, and that's when you get the point. So if both of these runners at least make it to World 8 without two items in their inventory touching, and you can see after Tank 1 that it's impossible for any item to touch in their inventory, they are instantly granted the point. Whereas, uh, whereas a point like um, taking no damage in World 8, you have to finish World 8 because it's possible to take damage in Bowser's Castle. So if you hit the 60 minute mark in 8-1, you didn't finish World 8, you know, there was left the ability or the possibility. Oh, and Uni taking the death there, as I'm explaining. Very unfortunate here. That's okay, that's an unfortunate 7-3. We've seen 7-3 take a couple lives. All right, first try for WRD, does not nail it. Second try, here he goes, does not nail it. Second try. So he is out of there, he's gonna work his way out of the 7-9. So, another example, if WRD does not finish his run, he will not get penalized for having more than 20 lives. The, the, the wild card is finish your run with 20 lives, get a point. If you finish your run with 21 lives, you get, uh, you get deducted a point, okay? If you get 60 minutes and your run ends at 8-1, you didn't finish a run, so you will not get, you will not get penalized for that, okay? Hold on one second here, guys. Alright, here we go. Uni is going to use a P-Wing in 7-6, which he has enough, so this would be good for him. Alright, not doing too bad, not doing too bad. These runners are still very close. It's going to come down to some World 8 shenanigans. And I love it when it comes down to that. I love it, I love it, I love it. I think it's amazing. We have seen a quite a bit, quite a bit of 7-7s seven uh, in this tournament, and I honestly think 7-7 seven seven is a good alternative if you are not comfortable with 7-8, if you don't know what exactly you want to do. Taking damage there is actually pretty good for Uni because he's going to be able to go much faster through these sections. It's a lot harder to go through with uh, the tail. You keep losing P-Speed all the time. So Uni has one more level left, one more chance at a point in World 7. And then he can join WRD on the airship. It looks like they both have some good time here. They Uni's got 12 minutes. They both got 12 minutes, which is, in my opinion is a good amount of time. Alright, here we go. Let's see if he gets mid-clip here. This would be big. He needs these points, man. He needs these points. Boom, take that turtle, get the hell out of my way. Oh, he doesn't get a first try, does he get a second try though? Oh, it's so close. WRD making good work of the boss. Now it is time for auto scroller land, which is a great time for me to catch up with chat. How's it going over there, chat? How you guys doing today? Star, he does not have a cloud though. Where did his cloud go, guys? Where did he miss his cloud? I don't think he's prepared for this level. He might be. So right there, WRD is going to be awarded the no items touching point. Unless I missed it somewhere, he did not mark it down on...
I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to tell. Ooh, taking damage there. That's gonna... Oh, he's okay. He's okay. He's in a good situation. As long as he doesn't die here. If he dies, that music box will be a waste. He'll have to do an extra level and he looks like he's in the clear. Alright, now it's time for auto-scrollers. Yeah, that donut clip was crazy on Ibuba's side. If he would have died there, that would have been it, right? I don't know how he didn't die. I've never seen a clip like that in the donut before in my life. Oh! WR take, WRD taking damage, and that that is really good for Uni because Uni might not be able to get the sub-60. We have the judges going back and looking... Looking to see if items... Looking to see if items touched in WR's inventory, but I don't think they did. However, he does not have it marked down on his own tracker. Very interesting. Mm. Oh, man. WRD could have got Wrangless there. That is a hate-to-see-it moment. That is a very big... You hate to see a moment. All right, now he's on his way to the. Now he's on his way to the navy. <laughs> oh, it's getting hot in here, guys. It's getting hot in here. Ooh, gets this. That is such a difficult fire flower to achieve, man. I am impressed, dude. I am impressed. Let's see how this goes. Give my give my throat a chance to, to not scratch so much. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see if he. Let's see how he does on this boss. We have seen a couple runners um, make some pretty fatal mistakes on the overworld bosses. So this um. This could uh, guarantee WRD the win, or you never know. You never know what happens here. Looks like he's in the clear. And look at that. Uni might not be able to get under an hour anymore, but there are things that he can get. He can get all three hands. He can get the, ro the no rocket kills. He can get the sun kill in time. And he can make it so that no items, it's impossible for them to touch in his inventory. So there is a good amount that can go on. Oh, and WRD almost getting no hands. That is huge. That is a huge moment. Beep. Ooh, hand three, throwing him around like a rag doll. He makes it out though. He's doing good. He clutches it. Nice. And that leaf only got hand one right there. He's got 21 lives though, so he will get punished using a leaf in this level. All right, let's see. Does he do it? No rocky kills. All right, here we go. He's already taking damage, so he's not going to be able to get that point. Gonna flutter all the way over. Let's see, let's see. Why, my voice is doing fine, man. Just a little scrapey, that's all. To be honest, it probably sounds better than how my voice normally sounds. It's fine. Oh! And it looks like he's gonna get the no rock. Look at that, right there, boom. Yes, chat is uh, prescribing my medicine. There we go, there we go. Still trying to work on if he got no items touching in his inventory on uh, WRD side, but it looks like he did get items touching his inventory. We'll see though, we'll see. Right now his inventory looks great. 
He's gonna use his hammer suit early in the 8 1. See how that's gonna go. That's pretty risky considering. Alright. Oh, WRD, that is massive. He's not going to be able to kill the sun. Ooh, that is so unfortunate. Is he gonna take a death here, though? He's not gonna take a death. And guess what? You nerdo got a flower as his first card, guys. So this could be pretty big, man. I think you nerdo got Rangless. I'm pretty sure he just got Rangless. He did get Rangless, which is insane. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. He already did get the Flower Star Mushroom. Okay, okay, okay. Well, it's good to keep track. It's always good to pay attention. Ah, oh, man, if only there was a way to grab that shell on WRD's side, man. If only there was a way to grab that shell. My goodness, dude. These points are still very close. So what is... What does you Nerdo need? He needs to get no hands... So that he can get the no rocky kill and then he's got to haul ass all the way to 8-2 quickly and get the uh, get the sun kill. That'll be good for him for points. That would be great for him for points, man. Meanwhile, WRD scrambling. He's gonna need to move his ass fast to get the under one hour, man. Because if they both get punished with that, that could be interesting. Could be very interesting. Hand 2, not bad, not bad. He does have... A little under four minutes, so he's got a little bit of time here. He does have some time. Don't get pulled in by this next hand. Alright, WRD just got his last auto scroller. Ooh, he gets pulled in by this hand. This is gonna be stressful. Going to be stressful here. Oh, he knows his hand one piece speed strategies, but he's gonna slow down a little bit here. Nice. Nice job on Uni's side. Uni did kill the first son, yes. Oh no, Uni didn't kill the first son, that's right! Oh, okay, so he can't get that point. He does not have two items touching in his inventory, though. I think WRD is just gonna wait until the end, yeah. Alright, he hasn't killed anything yet. This is good. Come on, you nerdo. Don't kill one. These points, he's already taken damage. That's fine. He's not gonna finish the run, so he wouldn't get that point anyways. As long as he doesn't kill any of them. He needs these extra points for game two, man. Game two is gonna come down. As long as he doesn't kill it. And he's out of there. Let's hope he doesn't die on this battle, though. Let's hope he doesn't die on this battle. WRD's got two minutes to clutch out this battle. That's more than enough time. That is more than enough time. Looks like Unerno's gonna take second place, though. And he is gonna get punished. We're not completing an under 60. So he's gotta collect some points here. Using a P-Wing here. Oh my gosh, WRD, that's so scary. Alright, here we go, Bowser. Here we go. Oh my god, this is so scary. Couple shots. There it is. Nice. And he gets the sub 60. So we are actually in somewhat of an interesting situation. I want to see you nerdo equip his, equip his hammer suit right now. Unerdo 
is throwing right now. So I am not going to award him the same no touch item. He's not finishing his run. Had he finished this level, he could have equipped his hammer suit and star and then guaranteed that no items would have touched. So he's not going to be awarded this point. I'm sorry, but he's throwing in his last minutes here. He cannot receive that reward. And it looks like WRD is going to get the no touch. But WRD gets first. But he does get punished for having over 20 lives. He does get punished for having over 20 lives. Very unfortunate. But it's okay. It's okay. 13 to 6 is what it looks like. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go. Wee. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it all the way. All right. Uni versus WRD race number two. Looks like they're going to do the pipe rub in 1-1. One, one. Uh, I would also recommend you guys do the same thing. I want to see Unerdo not taking any deaths here. This would be really good for him if he takes no death. Do a quick turn back there. And they're both finishing 1-1. One, one. Easy peasy right there, man. So easy for these guys. So easy for these guys. Got it on lockdown. Uh, WRD has um, a slight humming to his audio, so we're gonna stay more on Unerdo's audio because it's nice and crisp. So even if he's behind, both of them doing the exact same thing, and Unerdo um, getting the leaf in 1-2. That seems to be his strategy. He did the same thing last time, so... Seems like he is in the clear with what he wants to accomplish in these levels. WRD get a movement of 1, actually, which is gonna be pretty good for him. Keep a little bit of a lead. We'll see how Unerdo gets... Eh, moving it to whatever, it's no big deal. Oh, WRD getting uh, some questionable movement there. Not being able to get the P speed he wants, but it's the P speed we get. All right, you nerdo, this is what he needs, man. He needs to get the lead and keep it for the rest of the run. It's what needs to happen. There's so many things that can happen from here on out. We got hands. We got runaway bros. We got we got marathons with the Hammer Brothers. There's so much crap that can go on. Nice. Making very clean work of 1-5 right there. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. WRD slowly closing in. Also going to make his way through. Nobody gets their head stuck in the ceiling. You hate to see that happen to these guys. Now, one of these guys might use their lifeline here. Might use their lifelines. Let's see what happens. Alright, this is a very scary level. Oh, he's gonna have to go back and try again. He, need to, he does not get frame ruled. He had it, but he second guessed it, which, I mean, that's better than a death. Let's see if WRD can catch up some good time here. He is gonna make up a big time, big time save here, WRD. He was behind by a lot, and now look at him. Now look at him, that P-Speed is huge. All right, Unerdo is gonna frame perfect jump. He does not get the frame perfect jump, WRD. He's gonna go for the frame perfect jump, does he get it? He does not get the frame perfect jump, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, he's going to the mushroom house this time. Does he get the fire flower early? WRD not going for it, this could be a big time swing. Does not get the fire flower, man, needed that. That would've been huge for points, man. That would've been huge for points. All right, here we go. Here it is. Time for the ducking strategy. When was the last time you guys even seen my face? All right, WRD is gonna start the ducking strategy. Seems like he's got a really good strategy using the wall to push him. He does not have to overthink any of his movements. Where Unerdo is gonna be in full control and get him, get himself all the way to the end rather than using the screen. I wanna see no pokes. No, I want to see pokes. I want to see no peaks. This, this could be really big. Unerdo's going to wait for the screen. Let the screen push him. Oh, so close to that bullet. What? Looks like WRD is in the ducking form. He's going to stay ducking. And he's in there. WRD is in there. And it looks like Unerdo's in there as well. Both of them getting that point. That is awesome. One, each person may be thinking they got the point over the other, but they didn't. They both got that point. That is big for both of them.
All right, taking a quick look at chat. It looks like there's a discrepancy on Unerdo's side. Did he peek? Did he peek when he should have been poking? I don't know. We're gonna find out soon. People are gonna be taking a look and checking those clips. Make sure you check them twice. I didn't see a peek there though, but maybe somebody will find a peek. All right, here we go. WRD first into World 2. Remember, in World 2, you are guaranteed. Ooh, WRD not securing that. He's gonna be able to go for this. He's got his mushroom back. That's gonna give you Nerdo a chance to catch up in time. Look at that. Look at these guys go. Seems like 2-1 has not been WRD's friend. All right, here we go. All right, not doing too bad, not doing too bad. Unerdo is going to take the lead there though. They are guaranteed a movement of two in this world. Guaranteed a movement of two in this world. Getting the lead for safety though, I love to see it. Nice, not gonna fall in the moat of tears this time. Hopefully neither runner falls in there. That is a slow and a pretty, pretty decent time loss. Your speed instantly goes to zero when you land in water and then you have to slow. There it is. See, so you gotta slowly build it. Uh, and then your momentum's all messed up. But now they can go for their cards. Now they can go for their cards. Movement of one on Unerto's side. Not gonna be able to get those movements of two. He needs to collect way more points. Right, Well, not way more, but he, he does need to collect some good points here. Meanwhile, WRD is still getting his movements of two. So this could, uh... I mean, WRD had the movements of two last time, but lost it due to uh, the uh, items, which did end up paying off. Did end up paying off. So I was 100% wrong in that last race with what happened there. I was 100% wrong. So I want to keep, I, I want these guys to keep proving me wrong, man. Because then I learn something, you know? I learn something, uh, these guys show me how these strategies are done, man. I don't know everything that's going to go on with these points. I love seeing these races, man. Uh, you nerdo still got a juicy lead right here. Let's hope, let's hope we see no mistakes in 4-3. We want to see him start with a flower. And WRD getting another movement of two, man. He's still in the movement of two game. Still in the move of two game. How's you nerdo get the flower here, though? Oh, little mess up. You nerdo does not- Oh! Man, he- Jeez, what's going on on WR's screen, man? He's getting the tips. He's getting the clips. Tips and clips. Alright. Looks like Unerdo is gonna go for the music box. That's gonna cut his time a little bit. Let's get WRD, and WRD gets the flower. That is huge. That is huge. We have a no peak. I repeat, we have a no peak on Unerdo's side, so he is in the clear. However, he's not in the clear with the flower star mushroom where WRD might be, and WRD does the swaggiest. Sun kill. That is the second time I've seen that in this tournament and second time I've seen that in life getting stuck in the sand pit. Is this gonna mess up a star though? This does not mess up a star. He's got one chance here. This could be pretty big. And let's see if WRD keeps getting movements of two here. Yes, he is man. These movements of two like what? What is going on in this run? You can get this mushroom. Go for safety here. I don't blame him. All right, you nerdo. Gonna go for another chance at the flower here. Is he gonna get it early on? And he is gonna get it early on. That is big for him. That is even bigger because now he has an item in place of his hammer. That's pretty good. And you and WRD does get the flower star mushroom right there. That is big for him. Continuously getting movements of two here. This is where he could lose it. He's gonna get the hammer right here. Is he gonna lose those movements to two? I don't know. Find out. I don't know because it freaking lagged, man. I don't know if the hammer brother with the music. Oh, that's so stupid. He does get the fire flower though. That is huge, man. That is huge. I don't know if it did a movement of two or a movement of one there. I needed to see. It lagged at the perfect time. So stupid how that happened. All right, they're both in the pyramid though. Making their way out. And I have no idea. 
Because if WRD gets a movement of two here, I have no idea if the Hammer Brother with the Warp Whistle did a movement of two or a movement of one. I know the Music Box did a movement of one. Just, it, it lagged at like the worst possible time, man. Yo, and Unerdo does have the flower uh, in his first slot for the cards. That's really good for him. See, I have no idea if WRD got movements to two. Can somebody go back and check his stream right after he did 2-5? Right after he did 2-5, did he get a movement of one? It lagged right at the worst spot. That's so stupid. But let's keep going. They're both on the airship. We have time to check the playback to make sure, make sure to see. This could be big, man. This could be big. This could be really big. I'm so excited. I can't believe it lagged at the one worst frame possible spot. Like, what are the odds, man? Let's go ahead and give a stream a refresh in case he's behind by a little bit. So it seems like it was a movement of one right after 2-5 for WRD, so he's not going to get that all movements of two. He was one movement off. He was one movement off. Meanwhile, Unerdo still keeping that time lead. This is good for him, man. He needs that win. He needs that win. And WRD very close, though. You go for the fire kill. He's got three shots, four shots, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And he's going to get the stomp. No, a movement of four is fine. That's still a movement of two. We need to look at the movement where the Hammer Brother moves up beside level four after two, five. After, after WRD does two, five, the Hammer Brother moves up and we don't know if it's a movement of one. We need to know if the Warp Whistle does a movement of one or a movement of two. It was either a movement of one or a movement of two. After two, five. All right, you nerdo really needs to get a star here in this inventory. Does he get a star here? He does not. He gets a random mushroom. He gets a random mushroom. Wow. Well, I'm very confused with what you guys are saying about a movement of four. A movement of four was impossible in that situation. Oh, you nerdo taking the death. That is not what he wanted to see. Luckily, at least he didn't go directly through that cheap cheap. But he nailed it. He nailed it. All right, equipping that fire flower. That is an oucher's moment. That is an oucher. Ooh, taking damage. It's slightly falling apart a little bit here. Slightly falling apart. All right, WRD trying to make his way through 3-3. It's working. All right, he's through. Unerdo entering 3-3, trying to shake off some of that dust here. Alright, door 3. We need to get a door 3 on WRD side, but Unerdo also needs a door 3. Does he get the door 3? He does not get door 3. But I do need to mark down on WRC side, he did get the preemptive sun kill. And now it is Unerdo's side. Now it is Unerdo's side. Does he get it? Taking it slow, does not want to take damage. Does he get door three? Ah, oh, so close. So no door threes from our players here.
All right. Yes, after the Hammer Brother. They did a movement of four after 2-5, then he fought the Hammer Brother. That's what we need to hear. After after he fought the first Hammer Brother beside the Mushroom Mouse, did it do a movement of one or did it do a movement of two? And it seems like it did a movement of one. That's what I'm saying. That wouldn't be possible for a movement of four there. So thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. No all movements of two. Good. Very confirmed. WRD does get the special tile, though. WRD does get the special tile, and he did get Runaway. How is he going to deal with this Runaway? Is he going to use Cloud? Go to level 7? That is how he's going to do it. It is now Unerdo's turn. Let's see what happens on Unerdo's side. Oh! I guess that's what happened. Very unfortunate. I think Unerdo also did get the special tile. He is in the special tile spot. WRD climbing the rope. Make it on there, and he's gonna get the extra cloud. Both players getting the special tile, and I think both players are going to be able to get uh, waterless battles, but we're gonna have to wait and see. Yunerdo taking that death, which means he should skip. He should skip this, sc uh, this star bro. If he skips this star bro, the bridge is still closed. He's got it. Oh no, the bridge is open. That's right, he took two deaths. That's right. He does have to fight the Hammer Brother, and he also does not get H2O Battle, but neither does WRD. Not bad, that's still some points, man. They're still in the points game, right? Not the end of the world here. Gotta use the Cloud, there's no... Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh man, you hate to see it. That is a hate to see it moment. That is a hate to see a moment. And there we go. We have it right there, ladies and gentlemen. Done and done. Unfortunately, WRD did have to do an extra level. Not too bad. Does he get the H jump? He does not get the H jump. We need that H jump. So even though... WRD had to do an extra level to get that cloud back to go back across level 6. It did not give Unerdo enough time to catch out. Although he did get the H jump, so he is going to catch up a little bit right there. That is fantastic. But those deaths on Unerdo's side is what might cost him this race here. They are still doing okay with points. I mean, it's not it, it, anything, right? Anything can happen here. Anything can happen. There's so much going on all the time in these races. All right, now we can make our way back to Twitch chat now that they're on the auto scroll. How are you guys doing? Very unfortunate for you, Nerdo. Very unfortunate. You hate to see it, guys. Very sad. Yo, Roth0072, thank you very much for that tier 1 sub, man. I very, very much appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go, baby. Take a quick bite of my sandwich. I have a little bit of time here. Mmm, tasty sandwich. like you nerdos letting his nerves get to him a little bit with some of those deaths man looks like it might be getting him down i hope he knows he's still doing okay he is still in this yes we got some sandies with turno matches and sody pops we're living the dream guys with the with the no voice 
Yes. So what happened was WRD was not able to cross the bridge with the cloud. So what he did was cross level six, grab the cr cloud from three, seven, then the bridge was closed. And then he was able to get his way back across. So we had to do an extra level, but it was the right play. Both, both in the exact same level at the exact same time. That's what I'm saying. This could be anyone's game. Some of the... Oh! Just missed his A press, man. He was a little too close to the edge of that block. Very unfortunate there for him. He's gonna have to grab this power up for safety. He's gonna have to grab the power up for safety. Boom. W WRD is in there, and it looks like Unerdo did make his way through 4-1, and now he's hopefully feeling a little comfortable, but those deaths are probably, probably giving him a little bit of scare. But look at how many points he still has, though. We have had a couple people finish this tournament in the minus after two races having negative points. So if he thinks, if Unerdo thinks he's doing bad, he is not doing bad at all. He is still doing very good. Just maybe letting the nerves get to him. It's, it was anyone's game starting game two. But WRD looks like a lot of the work that he's been doing has been paying off. He's not dying, guys. He's not dying. He's getting points. He's doing peace beat strategies. He's not getting punished in 4 1, right? Those, those are big deal kind of things. He's not going for mushroom houses. His items are not touching in his inventory. It's been a wild ride for him, man. Coming out of the shadows out of nowhere and clutching in these strats and getting these points. And it's now Unerdo's turn to not get punished. He died two times in this level last time. We want to see no death and no punish. Looks like he's doing a really good job at that. And wow, look at that, man. If Unerdo just did not have those unfortunate deaths, he would still be doing a really, really good job keeping up with WRD. But again, the points, right? Could be anything can happen. WRD can have some really, really bad things happen. We've seen it before, guys. Great example right here. Unerdo is going to get the cloud first, which means he has an opportunity of getting, getting that point. Also, he has not had flower star mushroom touching, and he does have a flower card in his first slot. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Looks like WRD is trying to figure out his Hammer Brothers, and I bet this one is the star. Did he get a movement of four? It is not the star. Wow. Unerdo taking damage, which means he's going to be swimming blind. This is a very, very scary situation for Unerdo. I'm nervous for him. Although he just saw two spinies get thrown down, which means he's in the clear. That is good. Let's get that star, Unerdo. Gets the star. He has an opportunity to clean up a point right here. He also has the, the cloud first. Does he get the P-Wing? Does he know his Hammer Brothers? I don't think he's quite confident on which direction they're going to be facing. Let's see if he can secure a, mu uh, a mushroom here in his end level card. He's going to get a mushroom here. Probably going to go for the star right here. Let's see how this goes for him. Does WRD get early P speed? It looks like WRD does get early P speed. Holy crap on WRD side. Ah, Unerdo misses the card and not get the mushroom. These are some of the things he needed here. These are some of the things he needed. He's still, he's still very close to WRD though. Does he get early P-Speed? I don't think he tried for it last time. He did not try it. No, it's a very hard strategy and he needs his fire flower here. WRD checking his inventory, making sure it's nice and clean. Making sure it's nice and clean there. And he is out of World 4. World 4 always goes by so quickly, but that auto-scroller does not, man. Auto-scroller is so long. Let's see if Unerdo is able to get the P-Speed here. WRD using his lifeline!
Ah, oh, and it looks like... Alright, we just gave WRD his lifeline. We just gave WRD his lifeline. He is, if he wins this, he's not going to be able to use it again at all in the tournament. It seems like it, it might have been a waste on a lifeline with how well he's doing. But there is... So let me go ahead and inform you guys the information that I gave him. So, I said to him, I said he's in the lead right now with time and points, okay? Then I told him it's 12 versus 6. It's 12 versus 6 right now in this game. I said it looks like Uni didn't get any points in World 4 and he just entered the airship. And then I said, it, I said to WRD, it would be a very good idea if he avoids mushroom houses and roulette games and clutched away with time, he would be able to take the win. It's possible, though, if he does avoid all those and doesn't go for any more of the crazy points, that Uni could come and clutch in, but very unlikely. So it seems like WRD should be more focused on just finishing the run and getting under the 60 minute mark. So I think that is what he's going to do with the lifeline knowing that he's got the 2 minute lead and he's got the 6 point lead. I think he's just going to avoid and just try and finish a normal warpless run. And that is the advice that we were able to give him with the lifeline. I also have both streams open so I can see who's in other streams. All right, there you guys have it. Nobody getting punished. Unfortunately, Unerdo is not going to be able to get any points in World 4. And now we are in World 5. And look at that. So we're going to have to keep the stream open. WRD also saying lifeline very helpful. It seems like the people have who have used their lifelines in this tournament have gained something from it. WRD now knows he's in the lead with time and points and he just needs to get away. However, this is round one and he's already used his lifeline so he can no longer use it at all in the tournament. He's going to be going for no bumps in this world though. No bumps in the overworld map for him. No bumps in the overworld map for you, Nerdo. If Unerdo used his lifeline right now, I would be encouraging him to go for as many points as he possibly can find. Right? Just because I told WRD, just because I told him that his best interest right now is to go for time and clutch out the run and take the win, which it is, doesn't mean that if Unerdo used his lifeline, I would tell Unerdo, listen, you gotta go for those points, man. WRD is gonna try and clutch out the time for the win. Both li lifelines are important for both people. But WRD is going to ignore what I said. And he's going to try and dominate with the points here. He's, he knows he's got the time. But look at this. He's not getting the points. Not getting the points. Very interesting. Very interesting. He's going to use the music box. He's not going to bump on the overworld map. And he's going to get the heck out of there. Not going to be able to get the 280 point here with some flip-flopping there. And look at that, you nerdo catching up a little bit here. Very nicely done. I don't think we heard um, an overworld bump. Ooh, very scary, man. Very, very scary here. Oh, taking damage. Nice. You nerdo is going to go for these points here. Oh, not clutching out the roulette. Gonna cost him some time. He needed that, man. He might have mistimed it just by a little bit. No overworld bump still on his side. Ooh, 
Ooh, and there it is, man. There it is. The P-Wings touching in Unerdo's inventory. Oh, wait, no. No, he got Star, then P-Wing. Yeah. Nope, his items are touching in his inventory. Unfortunate, man. Very unfortunate. Ooh, looks like he might be able to get the 280 here. Wow, this is looking good. I don't know after that. This is gonna be tough. Nah, man. He's not gonna be able to make it with that with that body rub right there. So he's not gonna be able to clutch it out. But that's okay, man. Not the end of the world. Two eighty-two, two eighty-one, two eighty. 280, 280. Ah, oh, he was just a little bit faster, man. He had it too. No overworld bumps. Gonna take it slow. WRD also not any overworld bumps. Going to avoid the card game. Oh, and Unerdo takes the death. Very unfortunate. 5-4 has been the biggest gatekeeper in this tournament. Biggest gatekeeper in this tournament. I want to see him clutch out this 5-4, man. Very difficult level. Very stressful, too. WRD making all sorts of time mistakes in World 5. Unerdo had a high chance here. A very high chance. All right, here we go. No overworld bumps. He's taking it nice and calm and slow. I like that. Nice. Weaving and bobbing through the levels. Boom. There it is, Unerdo getting that flower. He gives himself another opportunity. He needs as many as he can get. He needs... He should be doing those spade games, man. He needs to get as many points as he possibly can. That would be what I would say to him in a lifeline. That's the only information I could give him. I could tell him the stats and tell him the scores. But I think it's very important he knows. Very important he knows that he needs to go for many points. All right. He needs to get this mushroom. Or sorry, he needs to get this... Ah, oh, another flower. Another flower. WRD going slow, man. This is a very, very slow World 5 for WRD. You nerdo. Ah, if only he knew and didn't take those deaths. He'd be really clean here. He'd be catching up a lot. But you never know what happens in tournaments, right? It is what it is. But we want to see you nerdo clutch in some points because we want him to high, ha have high stats. Future tournaments. High stat games. WRD taking it slow and no overworld bumps on WRD's side. No overworld bumps right there. Clutching in a point. Unerdo's gonna have to go and get that hammer, brother. He's used too many music boxes, which is good. This way he does not have to fight the, the piranha plant in World 7. That's good. That's a good thing. Alright, no bumps. Very clean, very clean. All right, last level in the warp for him, and then he can use his cloud. Oh, man. He didn't get a fanfare. That's good. That is really good. You don't want to get fanfares there. No overworld bumps on his side. There you go. He collects another point. Not the worst thing to happen. No bumps for WRD. That is correct. WRD talked about using his lifeline, going for Jesus Clip if he was far ahead, and he didn't do it. Damn. Five four is ass. Ninety five percent chance of death if you make one mistake, right? Yeah, five four is very scary, man. How is chat doing, man? Lifelines, points. That lifeline is powerful, but I feel like that lifeline would be more powerful in future races. Round one lifelines. Kinda interesting. Kinda interesting. All right, they're out of there. Um, one of my mods might be able to take season one points and add them in, uh, in the link 
um, so people can check out what season one points were. All right, WRD going into world six here. Looking good. Let's see what kind of pattern. Does he get up pattern? Does he get low pattern? No items in his inventory touching yet. Looking pretty clean. He gets a low pattern. That could be good for points. And Unerdo takes some damage there. Not the end of the world, man. Not the end of the world. Let's see what they got. Nobody. Nope. WRD does have special tile. Going to use a P-Wing. He's going to try and get that 279. And they both have special tile points. So this could be good. Let's see if WRD gets this. He needs to jump up. Ooh, this could cost it. This could cost it. He needs to be very fast here. Very fast. Does he get it? Oh, I think he might get it. 282, 281, keeps P-Speed. He gets it. Wow, incredible. High points games, man. High points games. Very nicely done on his side. You nerdo, I know you can do it too. You nerdo has already had two items touching in his inventory. Unfortunately, it happened to him in World 3. Here we come, 6-4. WRD, I don't know if he's nervous. He knows how far ahead he is, so I don't know. I think he's n nervous or memeing. I'm not sure. I don't... WRD doesn't strike me as the kind of person to kind of meme when you're ahead. You know what I mean? Nice, getting it 278 though, again. So freaking close. WRD also getting a low pattern, almost dies right there. Almost dies right there. You nerdo, look at how close they are in time now. This is crazy. Yeah, no coin ships yet. Nice, Unerdo doing a really good job. WRD getting the D spawn. He does not get it. It's a little bit more finicky than you thought. All right, Unerdo getting the fire flower. That is really good. I don't know if Unerdo got low pattern for the first Hammer Brother battle, but my judges will definitely confirm with me. I think he didn't. If I remember the blocks, the way they were positioned, I don't think he did, but we're gonna, we can see with the next Hammer Brothers what he gets and we'll, we'll figure it out. WRD is gonna go for the hammer suit here, and he's also, there we go, you nerdo get the flower and the star, he's on his way to get it, he knows how to get a mushroom, you, WRD no, needs low pattern, he does not get low pattern, he will not clutch that point, that is very unfortunate for him, very unfortunate for him, let's see if you nerdo can get a special item tile, Needs to fight this hammer brother. Gets a high pattern anyway, so it's not going to be able to clutch at home. No special tile on Unerdo's side, but he does get the cloud, so he doesn't have to fight any more hammer brothers. That's good. He's saying, I'm out of there. Oh, there's the hammer right there. Yeah, there it is. Look at them in the same level. In the same level. Go, Unerdo getting close. Ooh, he might die here. I don't know. He's kind of safe. He's, he's looking pretty good. He's looking pretty good. Oh, wow. He must have hit his head off the ledge. That is unfortunate. Every time he tries to get some points, he gets points taken away. He's going to use the leap, though. WRD is going to go up. Not going to get that one up. Take damage. Is he going to get fanfare? A fanfare here would be really bad. Does not get fanfare. That is good for him. Nice. Unerdo taking it slow, man. That's good for him, man. He needs to not rush this. Alright, WRD going for the wall jump. Not first try. No points for it, though. I think that's just how he routes the P-Wing and his inventory. We're getting a lot of different people doing a lot of different routes. This is good. Not clutching that wall jump. There you go. As soon as he was given the opportunity to jump, he made it. That's really good for him. 
right, Unerno making good work here. Is Unerno gonna pick up the life here? He's not gonna finish in 60, but he is gonna grab the life. All right, WRD trying to figure out what he wants to do for this level. He's gonna use the star, get the mushroom here, so he has a chance for the floor clip. We have not seen the floor clip once this tournament yet. I, I want to see someone get it. It's a big point turn. Ooh. And would you look at that? Almost make it. Unerdo using his P-Wing here. He's going to save a lot of time on WRD. But those deaths, man. Those deaths are costing him too much time. Both runners have 20 minutes for the last two worlds here. Looking pretty good. Unerdo, how is he going to do this? He didn't go for the clip last time. See if he goes for it this time. Maybe he says, ah, I'll go for it anyways. I'm down some points here. He's not going to go for it. That's okay, though. That's okay. It's a hard thing to do, man. It's not easy. Not easy. Pick my mick. Biggity, big fuck, big boy. Alrighty then, they're both gonna be on the airship. WRD is gonna be the first one to go for the ship clip. And let's see how he does it. How are you guys doing, chat? How would you feel about that World 4 and World 5? Pretty interesting, what do you say? WRD gets it. That is big points for him. There's no way he could be up there yet without getting it. So that's pretty big for him. All right, it's Unerdo's time. No, not first try. Does he get a second try though? Ah, he was set up nicely. Bad RNG, man. Bad RNG. Clips are subpixel dependent. But when you do wall clips like that, the subpixels are pretty they're they're pretty comfortable. Oh my gosh, you nerdo. If you would have taken damage there, that would have been really bad. That would have been really bad. Alright, WRD, you have five chances here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Wow, he only got three out of the five op opportunities because he wall rub. And look at this. You nerdo might catch up here. Oh my gosh. I mean, look at this right here. Wow. They are even. This is it. You nerdo's got five chances. Four. Three. Two. One last chance right here. And he does not get it, unfortunately. The the problem right now with the way you Nerdo does the wall clip is that he doesn't give himself an opportunity to build a lot of speed. You have to have a certain amount of speed in order to get the clip. There you go. Run back a little bit more. Give yourself some speed there, you Nerdo. Give yourself some speed. In the rules and information guide, I do provide information oh and he gets it before wrd look at that he does not get the point but he is now in the lead oh my gosh what in the actual heck there is a tutorial on how to do 7-1 i do provide it in the rules there is information for people to use to understand and better themselves for 7-1. It's right there. I provide as much as I can for you guys to help everyone get get their themselves through this run as much as I can. 
Now this run just got even closer in time. This run just got even closer in time, man. Wow. WRD, man, he needs to not get not only a fanfare, but he needs to catch up here. Sixteen minutes to bring it home, guys. Sixteen minutes. This is intense right now. This is intense, man. The points are a little bit skewed, but I do want to see you nerdo take the win in time. Mainly because you nerd or mainly because WRD did use his lifeline and he was ahead by a solid two minutes. When he used his lifeline, and then all of a sudden, WRD's doing all these questionable plays, going slow. Maybe nerves. I don't know, man. I don't know, but it just... This is how it's gonna go. This is how it's gonna go. <laughs> Gotta do that inventory a little bit faster than that, you know, you already lost the opportunity for items touching. All right, here we go. Both runners are on Island 2. I hope you nerdo is not trying for the clip in 7-6. I know WRD has to though. Ah, no. This could equalize it. This could equalize it. Ah, this makes me sad, man. Oh my gosh! That is so good for you nerdo. That is so good for you, Nerdo. WRD, not particularly going for specific subpixel manipulations, but let's go ahead and see how this turns out for WRD. This could be very stressful for him. Let's see how it goes. One. Nice, and it looks like you, Nerdo, is gonna go for 7-7, seven, seven, then 7-9, seven, and then he's gonna cloud Music Box his way out of here. Pretty good. Last time, he, Unerdo got a little confused. He didn't have his cloud. WRD not getting these clips here. Not getting these clips here. Oh, there you go. WRD getting it. That is really good for him. I don't know how he's going to clutch here in time, but it looks like it's going to be pretty interesting. Right, this is now a race to the finish. I want to see you nerdo finish in time. I don't want to see clips here though. No, but we don't want to see clips here. WRD gonna go for a meme right here, try and get it. And he only goes for one try. Seven, seven, one try and getting it. Like, okay, so if you always go for seven, seven, Getting a first try is not impossible, but if you only ever go for one try, I mean, oh my god, he's just damaged. Don't. Oh, wow, one try, not getting it. Second try. Ah, oh, man, his jumps are good. Just not being able to clutch it for him. He jumps a little late for my liking. I like to jump definitely much earlier than uh, where you, ner you nerdos jumping, but hey, it's, uh, it's what it is. Does he get a flower here? He does not get a flower. That was his last chance. That was his last chance for the flower. Flowery flowers. Now he's got the cloud. There you go. And he's out of there. Wow! Taking the lead in time on WRD. What? Not expecting that. Not expecting that at all. All right, chat, how are you guys doing? We're in auto-scroller land coming up. How am I doing? I'm doing fantastic, man. Thank you, thank you for asking, man. And thank you guys so much for all the support throughout this tournament. Thank you very much, guys. Well, okay, so it looks like WRD is guaranteed items not touching in his inventory. But we'll get a little closer to World 8 to see. Eternal Samus with the 300 bits, thank you. 
Starting off the new week with support. Uh, support, I really appreciate that. Okay. Let me give you guys a little bit of information. Okay, any percent, no wrong work, right? With no hands, you can finish World 8 in about 8 to 9, 8 minutes. 8 minutes or so, because you spend 2 minutes in World 1, right? So the any percent, no wrong work world record is 10, 1044. Two of those minutes are spent in World 1, which means World 8 can be done in 8 and a half minutes. However, if you get two hands, you can do any percent no wrong warp in about 11 minutes and 30 to 40 seconds, and you spend two minutes in World 1, right? So, World 8, World 8 can be done in about 10 minutes, 8 or 9, 8, 9, 10 minutes, depending on how it goes. God, I love this, I know, I love this tournament too, man, it's just way too much fun. So, these guys might not be able to clutch in the sub 60, but who is going to be the one? You don't have to finish the race to get the no items touching. You just have to prove that for the rest of the run, it's impossible for those items to be touching anymore. That's what's important. Alrighty then. It is up. It is up to these guys to try and get as many points. WRD has already used his lifeline. If you get two straight hands, does that count as items touching? No, it does not count. If you guys type in exclamation tournament, you'll be provided with links to the rules, the brackets, and the calendar of when these races. The rules will explain what, what works and what doesn't. Yes, the hands are excluded. The, the leafs in the hands are excluded. Beep, 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 beep. Eight to nine to ten minutes, that's a big gap in the speedrun. Well, I mean the hands, right? You don't know exactly how the hands are gonna go. I don't know if these guys are gonna die. Uh, I don't know how much lag they're gonna create on the auto scrollers. It is really actually a big gap in the in the speedrun. And I'm dead serious. It's it can be minutes. You never know exactly how world they can go. That's what makes it very exciting. Yes, unfortunately, Unerdo has died five times. If he had not died five times, he would have, what, six points here? Five or, five or six? <laughs> eight, World 8 took me three hours. I mean, I guess, yeah, that's pretty good. Five deaths with, with a time lead still. That's... That means, man, if you nerdo did not have some of these mistakes, it's just, oh my goodness. So here's a situation. If WRD used that star, I would have given him the points right away because there'd be, it would be impossible. But now if WRD uses that hammer suit before he uses that star, he is out of the clear. You nerdo take, you nerdo taking damage, but that's actually not punishment at all because you have to finish your run in under 60 you have to finish world 8 to get the no damage point right if you get under 60 or sorry if you hit the 60 minute mark at 8 2 well you could have taken damage in bowser but you never got there so it does not count you have to get through all of world 8 without taking damage to get that point no wranglist for him that's going to be the, the punishment is though he's not going to get an opportunity for wranglist but he is done on the auto scroller now things are heating up. He is now on the Navy. Let's see if he gets the hardest power-up in the game. Very stressful. He's gonna go for it, though. Make sure you get that duck input. He does not get the duck input. Boom, they're gonna create a little bit of lag. WRT almost taking damage there. That was very questionable play. Very scary. Almost takes damage again. If you jump when a cannon is shot out, you will actually take damage, even though you're standing on top of it. It's so weird. If you guys are both moving up at the same time, it still damages you. so weird. No Wrangless on either side. In 100%, the amount of exits and stages in this game is like 102, I think. We're always hoping to see a Wranglis. So let's see what kind of situation these guys get themselves set up in. WRD memeing. 
We are de memeing. We have seen Wrangless in the tournament, yes. Alright, what kind of situation? Is Unerto gonna be able to clean up some points and give him some uh, better stats for future tournaments, future seasons? Let's see, man. We wanna see him get games won, and we wanna see him get as many points as he can. Got hand one. This is gonna, oh man, this is gonna allow WRD an opportunity to possibly catch up here. What if WRD does not have enough time to use his star, guys? What if he doesn't have enough time to use his star? All that work he put into with inventory, man, to go to waste. Look at that, Unerto getting pulled into hand two. Does he get the all hands point? And he's, dude, if he gets hand three and WRD gets no hands, WRD takes the lead. See what I mean, guys? That's what I'm talking about. And he gets pulled in, so he gets the all hands point, collecting points before he's punished for getting under 60. WRD is also gonna get punished for under 60 as well. WRD getting hand one. Wow, this could be uh, this could be pretty clutch. We gotta see WRD using this star here, man. If he uses that hammer suit before he uses the star, that is it. He loses that point. Nice. All right, Unerto is gonna go for the no Rocky kills. Oh my gosh, WRD getting pulled into hand two. Does he also get all three hands? WRD did kill the first son, so he does want to clutch out that sun kill. Let's see what happens here. Takes damage, that's okay, he's already taking damage. Ooh, WRD not getting hand three. He was sitting there. What do I do? What do I do? He, uh, he almost entered that hand. Alright, no kills on each side. Scary. But it looks like Unerto is going to get the no Rockies kills. That is good for his points average. That is good for his career total points for future seasons. Needs to get, needs to get, man. Needs to get those points. WRD had two leaves touching, yes, but if you read the rules page, you'd know that the leaves don't apply from the hands with the items touching. I'm gonna use the P Wing. Let's see if WRD makes some mistakes here, man. He's gotta use the star before he equips the hammer suit. He's gotta use the star before he equips the hammer suit. Let's see what happens. I don't know if he's gonna equip it here. Oh, he did use the star, and there you go. WRD, guaranteed items not touching. Impossible. Impossible, has to be given the point. Your run does, you don't need to finish your run. You just have to prove that no items to touch. I mean, it's impossible, right? So, obviously, he gets the point. That's just the way it works. You nerdo taking that death right there at the end. Very unfortunate. You gotta keep it going, man. You gotta keep the run live. You nerdo does not want to sit around because he's gonna punish himself with points. He's in the lead right now. He might lose that lead right here if WRD does some crazy fast strategies in this level. Let's see what happens. Gonna go for the sun kill. Oh! WRD taking the death! Wow! That is unfortunate, man. Wow! And he's not gonna be able to get the sun kill. And Unerto is going to take the lead win on this, I think. Wow, you never you never want to see the deaths like that. Ooh, taking damage on WRD's side. Looks like you nerdo. He's going through doors, man. He's going in and out of doors right here. 
And that is it, guys. We have one minute until this is over. Looks like it's going to end on the airship. I would have no problem with Unerdo not entering the last tank because he's just going to be in an auto scroller when it ends. Common sense here, guys, right? I mean, it's not the end of the world if he doesn't enter it. But he, I think he's going to enter it anyways. I've made it very clear that it's it's for every runner's best interest to not give up and just keep going until you hit that hour mark. Even though you know it's hopeless, I want to see good sportsmanship. A great example is KLM in this tournament did had a very, very bad tournament run. But man, oh man, did he ever play in good spirits. And I, you know what? He just did a fantastic job. And I want to see every runner do the same. WRD at the one hour mark. So it looks like Unerdo is further ahead in the under 60 minute mark. So WRD is going to take that loss, is going to get punished. And Unerdo is going to get punished, but he's going to get first place right there. Look at that 13 to 4. Well done on these two. Unfortunate with the time. But it's that's the way it's going to be. Yes, Unerdo got the no Rocky kills. I apologize. I apologize. Unerdo got the no Rocky kills. Yes, 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 yes. Don't worry. We got it. We got it. Thank you, guys. Woo! Dude, you guys are clutch, man. I love Twitch chat during these tournaments, man. You guys are so involved. You guys help me out. I freaking love it, man. You guys are insane.